Hey everyone, it's Tommy back with a brand new video and this video is going to be a narration video since you guys have been asking for one, so here you go. Now, this game actually comes from the Top Shelf Tournament that we played last weekend and this is an awesome team, uh, probably one of the best that I've played on in a number of years. Um, and fortunately because of that great D, I also played well, so that was pretty cool. We ended up winning the entire thing, and this is actually from game three, but I wanted to do this one first since we ended up scoring seven goals in the second period, which you'll see, and uh, I'll also narrate those for you as well. Now, the gear, obviously I've been wearing a lot of CCM gear lately, but I switched back to my co-host for this one since obviously this team is red. So we see here the coho pads. Paso chest protector, Reebok 20k pants since they are black, and this is my Wall W6 mask that is painted in the zombie theme, so that's pretty cool too. Um, and the sticks, of course, those are the CCM Pro sticks that are red and white. Now the team we played here was the Lafayette High School alumni team, so they're a bunch of younger kids who played uh, pretty well, and in fact they were ahead 1-0 at the end of the first, and we scored a whole bunch in the second period, and ended up winning the game 8-1. So, let's get started, and I'll see you after the first clip. Now this plays a little bit tricky because it's not only a classic give and go, but at the same time this guy in the middle has a beautiful opportunity to take a shot right here or keep going for a backhand shot. Instead he opts for the pass, which my defenseman interrupts, and I end up smothering the puck. Now it should have been a very easy glove save was very complicated due to the fact that my glove was extremely wet. So this was our third game and the second one on this day and I didn't have a good opportunity to dry out my glove in between. And unfortunately the Coho glove doesn't have an ultimate dry material in the palm and so it ended up being very wet. So when I went to catch it, it actually bobbled right out of my glove and as you can see here gave them a beautiful opportunity to try to get that rebound in. Fortunately I was able to see the puck and get my leg over just in time and smother that rebound even though they're going to try to push my guy into the crease. Now this is another complex play because while this guy is going to take the point shot, it's going to hit my defenseman stick. And now I'm not really sure where that puck's going to go. Now I end up having those two guys over on the right, and this guy's going to make a beautiful play between his skates to get it to his other player. Now he has a perfect opportunity to stuff that puck, which is what I think he's going to do, but loses the puck over to his other teammate, who makes a really nice shot, and fortunately I was able to get across the crease just in time and get a toe on it. Now here comes another point shot, and this time the guy who is right in front of me right here is going to get a beautiful tip on net. Now fortunately my glove was in good positioning, and the puck ends up hitting me right in the glove right there. And then I just have to recover for the rebound, and the guy doesn't get very good wood on the backhand, so it's pretty much just an easy redirection towards the corner. Now under no circumstances whatsoever is this puck going to go in. So really this is just a wasted shot. He does try to shoot it through my defenseman here, but really it was an easy shot to pick up and all I had to do was redirect it into the corner easily. Now here's another situation where the wet glove definitely works to my disadvantage. This should have been an easy catch, so as the guy comes around he's going to put a pretty good wrister on, but it's going to be pretty much straight at my chest. So I'm just going to go up and try to catch it, and I actually do catch it, but I don't realize it at the time. And so when I brought my glove down completely open, it dropped the puck down right in front of me. Of course I was able to see that and make sure I got in the way of any rebound. <laughs> Now this was a play that thanks to the hustle of my defenseman, it made it much easier on me. So this guy really had a prime opportunity to come across the crease and get a good shot on net, 
but because my defenseman hustled back and he has that long reach, he was able to disrupt the play and the guy doesn't end up getting a very good shot off and it's an easy save for me. This was a great opportunity for the other team because he gets it past my player right here and then he has a beautifully open slot just to be able to shoot that puck. Now technically he could have gone over to my left side as he had an open player over there but instead he took the shot and I made a stick save. Now right after that last play, his teammate gets almost the exact same opportunity. So he's going to get past my player right here, and he's going to have a pretty open slot to be able to get this shot off. Now when he gets it off, he goes blocker side just like the last time, but this time I get a square on the blocker and redirect it into the corner. Now this one was another really nice opportunity for them because they're breaking through both of my defensemen right here splitting the D and then he's going to get a pretty good opportunity but he doesn't get very good wood on it. It actually ends up hitting the side of my stick here and I wasn't able to control that rebound so at this point I just want to make sure I'm in good position in case this guy gets the puck which he does and I made another save and then I let my players clear out the rebound. <laughs> Now I made several mistakes on this play and the first one is right here with this player with the puck. He's coming down. I thought pretty much right about now he was going to take that shot, probably blocker side. Instead he makes a very nice pass over to his other player and my glove is way too low here. And so when I dropped my glove that gave him a great opportunity to go glove side and that didn't happen again for the entire tournament. So I learned my lesson on this one. Now this was a funny play that freaked out my team a little bit because there's only a few seconds left on the clock and so I turn around to get my water bottle and probably start heading over to the bench. But then I hear the crack of the stick on the ice and I knew a shot was likely coming my way. So right here I notice it's coming my way and I just make sure that I get a pad down and redirect it into the corner. So here comes the second period. I went ahead and left the GoPro up on our end of the ice and hopefully that would spur on some goals, and it did. We ended up scoring seven this period. So this is Lafayette alumni's goalie Sam Boyer, at least according to the roster. And normally I don't narrate the other goalie, but this time we will, just to show you guys what I may have done in this case, and we'll see how he did. So let's get started. We started off the second period on the power play and so we had our first opportunity right here and we're down one to nothing at this point so we pretty desperately want a goal. So my defenseman with the puck over there on the left side makes a beautiful pass into the center who makes a nice tip pass over to the guy on the right and now I have two forwards waiting with an open net on that side and completely unaccosted my guy makes a beautiful pass over to the left side for an easy goal. Really there was nothing the goalie could have done on that case. This is one of those plays that's surprisingly tricky because while the shot from the point is a very easy one and it's not very fast and not very hard and there's really not a whole lot in front of them, their defenseman does try to get a stick on it. And so as the shot comes in, right about here, we're not sure what's going to happen with this puck, but he stays with it and he makes the save. Now this is one of those plays where you pretty much just have to get across the crease as fast as you can and react to whatever is happening on the other side of the net. So as the puck comes across, you can see he reacts very well, stops himself, and makes a really nice toe save. And the puck is right there in front of the net, but his defenseman helps him out and gets that puck out.
Unfortunately for him, this is just one of those shots that is incredibly good. So I remember watching this play from the other end of the ice, and when this shot released from his stick, I knew it was going top corner and there was nothing he could do. He already had his glove out. He did dip down just a little bit when he went down into the butterfly here, and that cost him a little bit of time, but really, that was just a perfectly placed shot. And I think NASA's going to have to send Neil Armstrong back up to the moon to find that water bottle. Now just like you guys see very often from me, I am not a huge fan of the reverse VH. And so when I go against that post, more often than not, I have my leg up against it, my blocker up high, and what I'm hoping to do is get a little bit of my shoulder on it and deflect it over. And so that's exactly what he does. He's a, probably a little bit shorter than me, but nonetheless, he gets an arm on it and deflects it over the net. Now this is just another beautifully placed shot, but this time it's on the backhand. So really the only thing I think I would have done differently is I tend to have my glove out and up in the fingers up position, basically acting as a deterrent to doing exactly what he did. So as he drops the glove there, my forward saw that and put that really nice backhand into the corner. So beautiful shot. I don't know if I would have saved it, but I think I would have had a little bit different glove positioning. <laughs> Now this goal right here is 100% on that defenseman over on the left. The defenseman on the right is appropriately playing his guy over on the right, and as he crosses the ice here, he's not confident that guy on the left is hustling back, and so he actually has to stop and try to get back and disrupt this pass. Now meanwhile, the defenseman on the left really isn't doing a whole lot, and half-heartedly sticks a stick out, but my forward is right there to accept that pass and put it in the open net. We goalies need to rely on our defenseman to cover that guy, and in this case, he didn't, and it led to a goal. This is a pretty good opportunity for my forward, and he really didn't have anyone to pass to, and so he goes ahead and takes this shot. Now, if I was the goalie, I probably would have figured he was going to go high glove, just like my player did before, but instead my player goes high blocker side, he makes a very nice save right here and controls the rebound and smothers it. There's not really much the goalie could have done in this case because as that puck comes out of the corner up to my defenseman, their forward decides to stand right in front of that shot. Now, the goalie appropriately comes out, and he's aggressive. He's trying to cut down on the angle, but unfortunately, because he can't see where that puck's going to go, it goes straight past that defenseman and in the net. Now, this was another case of a missing defenseman, because my guy's going to get the puck, and he's going to come down those right boards, the defenseman is coming back pretty good at this point, but then he just kind of lets him go and turns around and lets him go right past again. So, you know, there's only so much we can do. And as the guy is coming in for the shot, the goalie, as you sometimes see me do, goes for that poke check. Unfortunately, this time it doesn't work out and it opens up the five hole for a nice goal. But at the end of the day, really, that's on the defenseman to try to hustle back and truly disrupt that play. Unfortunately, the day just keeps getting worse, and right after that goal, we end up scoring another one here. So my oncoming forward makes an absolutely beautiful deke through the legs of that defenseman right here. I mean, that's just pretty. And he gets it through, and then puts a beautiful shot underneath the glove and above the pad over on that left side. Really, there's not much you can do on that one. <laughs> So if you remember at the end of the first period, the score was 1 to nothing, and as you can see, it is now 7 to 1. So fortunately, leaving the GoPro up there really worked, and we ended up scoring those 7 goals. So let's finish the game out with a few more saves. Yeah. 
Now this was a very simple play, of course. It's an easy point shot. It's a little hard, but it's along the ice. There was no chance of it going in whatsoever, and I just deflected it up and over the net, which I was very happy to see considering in one of my last videos, I accidentally deflected it up and inside my own net. So I'm getting a little bit more used to the lie of this stick, and it worked out well. Now in between periods, I'll try to dry out my hand a little bit and stick my jersey inside of my glove and try to dry it out just a little bit. And so finally here, I have a pretty good feel of the glove and I'm able to make this very easy catching save and actually keep the puck for once, which I'm sure my team was very happy to see. Now in complete contrast to that last play, on this one I let it go on purpose. So the guy's going to get a pretty good opportunity here and it's going to go to my glove side and I'm just going to let it hit me in the palm and drop down right in front of me where I have all of these players right in front of me and I figure they just want to get the game over, so let's keep it going. Now this play was a little bit tricky because I didn't even know this shot was coming at first. So I had to very quickly get over to that post and make sure that I was holding the post and then make sure that that guy couldn't jam in the puck. Now the puck of course goes straight into the very top of the crease and I actually bobbled it between my glove and my blocker right there and then just wanted to maintain good positioning to make sure that that puck was not going to be able to enter the net. My defenseman makes a beautiful backhand play there over to one of our other teammates. Now I know what all of us goalies are thinking in a, at this point, 8-1 to one game is I would really like to take a full-on slap shot to the collarbone. And that's exactly what I got to experience here. So this guy's going to come in and take a very nice slap shot, but unfortunately it goes straight into me. And it misses my helmet. I kind of went over to the left a little bit. Now, there's a little bit of padding there in the pass load chest protector, so it did definitely save my collarbone from getting too bruised up, but I ended up with a little bit of a bruise afterwards. Not a big deal, but not exactly what I wanted to see in an 8-1 to one game. Now this wasn't that difficult of a play at all. Outside of that guy right in front of me here, there really wasn't a lot of opportunity for them to score this goal. So, But here's one thing I wanted to point out, is that I put my glove on him a little bit right here, and what that does is it actually makes him stay in that position. And what that did was, now when that guy takes the slap shot, I end up getting a toe on it, goes into the corner. That guy didn't even think to change his positioning. So sometimes a little bit of a touch goes a long ways. And here comes another far out slapper. There was absolutely no opportunity for this to go in the net whatsoever, but still, I'll take a nice looking glove save any day, and then I'll just drop it down for my defenseman to take it and turn it around for another play. So I hope you guys enjoyed the narration video. It's been a while since I did one, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely pay attention to the Goalie Crease Net YouTube channel because there are going to be many more reviews and many more game videos from this tournament and others that are forthcoming. So good luck out there, and I'll see you out on the ice.